Methane plus steam or steam reforming is how 95% of the world's hydrogen is actually made. By reacting CH4 or natural gas or methane with water, and it's usually in the presence of a nickel catalyst to make the reaction go faster, even though the temperature is ridiculously high anyways, like 800 or 1000 degrees Celsius. You can still get these two molecules to react to form carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas. So you'll see that the hydrogens came from the water and the methane together. In fact, when you balance this, one carbon, one carbon, one oxygen, one oxygen. Six hydrogens will yield you three hydrogen molecules from that process. The idea being that for just two molecules worth, you end up with three hydrogens. I mean, that works because there's two hydrogen molecules worth of the atom here. But in any case, there's also a little bonus step that can happen because there's something called the water gas shift reaction. You can react the carbon monoxide with water to make it happen again. Put another way, carbon monoxide can be asked to react with water and that will yield you a carbon dioxide along with a hydrogen. I'm not actually sure if that requires a catalyst or not, but I did read that this one requires a nickel catalyst to make it go forward. What you'll notice is that if you add these two reactions together, the carbon monoxide cancels out as an intermediate and you end up with CH4 reacting with two water molecules to eventually become a carbon dioxide and four hydrogens. The actual reaction of methane plus steam yields you carbon monoxide and hydrogen. But I just want to emphasize this in case your teacher's asking for this reaction. Carbon monoxide can further react with water to give you one extra hydrogen. Cool! It's how most hydrogen gas is made, and we need hydrogen gas to make ammonia and other interesting things. Methane plus steam. It's a chemist's dream. Best of luck.